a signal is represented by xt and xt is defined like this. It is equal to 1 when mod t is less than 1 and it is equal to 0 when mod t is greater than 1 and we need to find the Fourier transform of signal yt. Signal yt is a convolved signal. It is a convolved signal because it is equal to convolution of signal x2t with signal xt by 2. So we are required to calculate Fourier transform of signal yt and let's say signal yt is having the Fourier transform equal to y omega and we know when two time domain signals are convoluted their corresponding Fourier transforms are multiplied. So if we say x1 omega is the Fourier transform of signal x2t and x2 omega is the Fourier transform of signal xt by 2 then Fourier transform y omega will be equal to x1 omega multiplied to x2 omega. So our task is to calculate y omega and we can have y omega if we can calculate x1 omega and x2 omega and we can easily calculate them if we know the Fourier transform of xt. Let's say signal xt is having the Fourier transform equal to x omega. So we will first calculate the Fourier transform x omega and for that we will use the given definition of signal xt. Signal xt is equal to 1 when mod t is less than 1 or we can say signal xt is equal to 1 when time t is greater than minus 1 but less than plus 1 and it is equal to 0 when mod t is greater than 1 or we can say it is equal to 0 when t is greater than plus 1 but less than minus 1. And from this definition, it is clear that we are having a rectangular function. Signal xt is a rectangular function because it is equal to 1. It is equal to 1 from minus 1 to plus 1. And it is equal to 0 from minus infinity to minus 1. From minus infinity to minus 1, it is equal to 0. And it is again equal to 0 from 1 to infinity. So this is the waveform of given signal xt. And we know when we are having the rectangular function as the time domain signal, the corresponding Fourier transform is equal to A tau sampling omega tau by 2. Here A is equal to 1 and tau is equal to 2. So x omega will be equal to 2 sampling omega. Now we will calculate Fourier transforms x1 omega and x2 omega. We are getting signal x2t after performing the operation time scaling. So initially we are having signal xt and after performing the time scaling operation we are getting signal x2t. x omega is the Fourier transform of xt and after time scaling by 2 the Fourier transform will become 1 over mod 2 or simply 1 over 2 x omega by 2. x omega is equal to 2 sampling omega. So we can say that x1 omega, this is equal to x1 omega, is equal to 1 over 2 multiplied to 2 sampling omega by 2. This is our Fourier transform x1 omega. 2 and 2 will cancel out. So finally we are getting x1 omega equal to sampling omega by 2. In the same way we will obtain the Fourier transform x2 omega. We are having signal xt. Again we are performing the time scaling operation and we are getting xt by 2. So this time we are multiplying t by 1 by 2. So in place of 2 we will have 1 by 2. So I will write down the Fourier transform directly. x2 omega is equal to 1 over 1 by 2 multiplied to 2 times sampling. Let me slide the board a little. 
2 times sampling inside the bracket, we will have omega divided by 1 by 2. Simplifying this, we will get the Fourier transform x to omega equal to 4 sampling to omega. So we have x1 omega, we have x2 omega, let's multiply them to get y omega. So we will calculate the Fourier transform y omega, which is the Fourier transform of signal yt. It is equal to x1 omega multiplied to x2 omega. x1 omega is equal to sampling omega by 2. Or we can write sine omega by 2 divided by omega by 2 multiplied to 4 times sampling to omega or we can write 4 times sine 2 omega divided by 2 omega this 2 and 2 will cancel out so we will have 4 omega omega will give us omega square sine omega by 2 sine omega by 2 and this sine 2 omega so finally we are getting 4 divided by omega square sine omega by 2 sine 2 omega so option a is the correct option and you can see this question was asked in gate 2014 exam so using the basic properties you can easily obtain the answers of the questions so this is all for this lecture i will end it here see you in the next one